just to look look at me as one of the leaders. You know, I can't call myself a young guy. I got I got to put myself in the shoes of, of you know being being a big brother to some of these guys. So you know, I know they look up to me, and you know, I just got I just got to fill the shoes. Was the week off good for you? Do you feel healthier after having Syracuse week off? I do feel better, and you know, I feel like I needed that week to get my ankle right, my hamstring right, and you know, my hamstring feel good, my ankle feeling better, and you know, I'm about as healthy as I was when I started the season. Dylan, you're about like, you're 12 yards from breaking the single season rushing record. Uh, just your thoughts on that and, and your place, you know, in the record book there and in the history of the program. Um, it's, it's a blessing, you know. Work done, you know. That's one of the greats that that you always look and watch when you when I was growing up. So you know, to be missing to break this record, you know, that's a blessing for God. And you know, it's an honor just just to be missing with him. And you know, but it's a blessing for God. He was he was there in Atlanta. Did you get a chance to talk to him? Yeah, that's when I first met him. And you know, great great person. You know, gave me some words of encouragement. You know, just just real some other game. You know, but great guy to be around. What kind of advice does a guy like that have, I guess? Um, he knows the game, you know, he done, he done been through this program, know what it takes, you know, he done been in the league a couple of years, and you know, so he done played my position, so you know, he just always got the word to keep me going, you know, just, just the little thing he sees that I probably don't see, so you know, things like that. Was this, when you came to Florida State, was this ever an individual uh, goal of yours? Did you ever think that you could be, beat that record? No, nah, it wasn't ever in my head, you know. Just was the work just had to be put in, you know. I feel like I, I got to put the work in and I'm still working. And, you know, there's things that I still got to work on a lot. And, you know, that I, I could be a better player than I am now. And, you know, just the work just got to be put in. But the, the things I'm doing now, you know, I never put that in my head, you know, just, just work. What are some of those things that you think you can, I mean, your season's obviously been impressive, but things that you think you could build on and, and keep working and improving on? <clears throat> just helping the team finish, you know. All the team effort, but you know, just just make my individual role more better. But, you know, just just improve and little things. You know, probably just being more vocal out there. You know, God might need me to be more vocal. So you know, just little things like that. Did it feel like when you were talking to Work? Did it feel like he was supportive of you? You know, taking hold taking hold of that record and passing him up? Yeah, he was um very encouraging, like very motivated. He was motivated me like go get it. You know, it's better be broken. Being vocal as, as a leader, is that something that comes natural for you? Or is that something you've kind of had to work on and make yourself to? Back in high school, um, the guys at high school, they looked up to me too, man. You know, me and Joe and all them guys back in high school was leaders on my team. So, you know, I always had to take the role up. So, you know, my talent just, just overweighed everything. So I know I had to be that guy because I'm scoring touchdowns and everything. The coach looks up to me, the fans look up to me, so I had to be that guy to, to say what I had to say. So I've always been that guy to talk. Yeah. As far as kind of going back to that leadership role, it wasn't like losing was something that happened very often for you at Central. So what have you learned this year about yourself in terms of what needs to be said or not said to be a better leader for the younger guys on this team? Um, you know, after a loss, everybody heads down, you know, people like, you know, want to hear a lot of stuff, but you really got to know what to say to the guys, and you know, you just really, man, you just go with like, man, especially the seniors, because I know this day last year, and you just tell them, you know, we got to live, we got to keep fighting, and you know, it's for the program, and that's what we came here for, for Florida State, and you know, we got to just keep giving these fans what they want, and we got to just keep going back to work, so it's just stuff like that, because it's bigger than us, the game bigger than us, we playing for the fans of Florida State, that's just how I look at it. Who are some older players that you know you take leadership from? Um, Terrence Smith, Reggie. Um, he, he just got here, but I look up to them guys, and you know, because I know they done been in, in programs. Like he, he done been in college five years. Reggie, the, all them guys done been here multiple years. So I just look up to them guys, and you know, just take what they learned from Kelvin and all them guys, and just, just grasp it. And what's it like when guys like that are taking on so your leadership and your role, despite you know you being younger? Um, it's great, you know, that they looking up to me as, as a sophomore, and, you know, I just feel like I just got to get better, and, you know, and, you know, they'll, they'll probably they'll take leadership too. Now, as far as NC State's concerned, what's kind of been the discussion with what they do scheme-wise and the team's chances against them? 
Um, we got a good team. We go on with our game plan like Coach Bishop put in every week. And we got to go out there and execute it, you know. And to Coach Brissett, you know, one of the great talents on their team. And, you know, better against him last year. And a great quarterback. And, you know, we just, we just got to get out to him. And, you know, they defense up front, they good. We just got to do our assignments and execute. And I feel like we'll be successful. Colin, when it comes to breaking tackles, is that something that you can work on or does it just come naturally? I feel like it comes naturally. It's a mind thing. Like, you feel in your mind, like, this one guy ain't going to tackle me. And, you know, that's what I try to tell all the running backs. Like, Zaquez, you know, one guy can't tackle us. And, you know, that's just part of the mindset. That's how it's part of your mind. You put in your head, that guy ain't going to tackle you, then he ain't going to tackle you. Assuming you guys have gotten a chance to see what's going on around the nation, you guys get a chance to pay attention to what's going on in Missouri at all, or is that kind of been an afterthought? I just just learned about it. You know, that, that's crazy. And I don't know. You know about that? That's crazy. But I just learned about it. I was watching ESPN. I seen it pop up on the screen. But it's it, it's good how the, how the guys put, stood together like that. You know, this NC State team. You know, you guys came back from 17 down to beat them last season. You guys coming off this loss, I mean, for them, it, they probably can think that, hey, maybe Florida State is better, and maybe we have a chance to come and steal one. Why is that not going to happen? That's their mindset coming in. Coach, Coach said it yesterday. They know we, 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 we got a loss. They think we still think about the loss, but, you know, we coming back to work. And, you know, that's that's the mindset that I'm trying to put in the office heads right now. And, you know, I know the defense guys, they ready to go. We just got to put it out here. We got to go out there, play our game, and outscore them. That the defense is going to do their job. At the start of the season, you guys kind of always had that same goal as the ACC title, you know, try to get to the playoff. Now that those kind of goals aren't as, you know, possible for you guys, what are the new goals you set for yourselves for the remainder of the season? Just, just finish this, this much strong. If we finish this much strong, you know, get us in a good bowl game and, you know, get the program back when we needed that. If we just finish this much strong, we'll be all right. That's, that's our goal, just finishing the much strong. If we finish November strong, we'll be all right. We good?